The First Battle of Bull Run, also known as the First Battle of Manassas, was fought on July 21, 1861, near Manassas, Virginia, and was the first major land battle of the American Civil War. It was fought between Union forces, commanded by Brig General Irvin McDowell, and Confederate forces, commanded by Brig General P.G.T. Beauregard. The Union forces, numbering about 35,000, marched from Washington, D.C., towards Manassas with the aim of capturing the Confederate capital at Richmond. The Confederate forces, numbering about 32,000, were camped near Bull Run Creek and were aware of the Union Army's movements. The battle began in the morning when the Union forces launched an attack on the Confederate left flank. The attack initially succeeded in pushing back the Confederate forces, but the Union forces soon encountered heavy resistance and were forced to retreat. Confederate reinforcements under the command of General Thomas J. Jackson arrived on the battlefield and held the Union forces at bay, earning him the nickname Stonewall. The Union forces attempted to regroup and launch a counterattack, but it was unsuccessful. They were eventually forced to retreat back to Washington, D.C., leaving behind many wounded and dead. The First Battle of Bull Run was a shock to both sides. The Union forces had been confident of victory and had expected a quick and easy end to the war. The Confederate forces, on the other hand, had been seen as inexperienced and untrained, but their victory at Bull Run showed that they were a force to be reckoned with. The battle had several important consequences. It convinced both sides that the war would be long and difficult and that victory would not come easily. It also led to the reorganization of both the Union and Confederate armies, as both sides realized the need for more training and better leadership. Overall, the First Battle of Bull Run was a major event in the early stages of the Civil War and set the tone for the conflict that would follow.